we can okay. click on the hide option the stock will share in yeah, hide option mm -hmm. okay yeah, okay so here uh, today i have covered the uh, scope overview for saudi arabian fabricated metal industry okay so yeah so first we will go through the organizational structure so for uh, safami so they have one company code 1046 okay under that we have two plants uh, uh, safami copper and safami al jubel so yeah, uh, the company code for both of the plants will be 1046. So that assignment will be done that way. Then uh, under these plants, we have three storage locations each. One will be for raw material stores. Another will be for finished goods stores. And the last one will be for consumable stores. OK. Then master data. So for production planning, we have the master data as material master, bill of material, then work center, activity type routing reference operation set etc so we will see one by one uh, in the coming slides okay so for material master uh, uh, there are uh, five views relevant to production planning for safami uh, so for uh, there are four mrp views mrp one two three and four and work scheduling view and if you want to uh, do some quality management then we can maintain quality management view as well okay then for uh, in material uh, in material master for in house produce materials so they are using the strategies uh, for di uh, different different strategies for different plants uh, for 1046 they are using 61 and 21 then make to order is also there for 2046 again make to order is there then again they have planning with final Okay, uh, and MRP type will be uh, PD for all the in-house produce materials and lot size will be lot for lot order quantity. Then uh, as these materials will be uh, produced in-house, then their procurement key will be uh, in-house production. Okay, and availability check will be individual requirements. Okay, so for all externally, uh, now we will see for externally procured materials. So there also the MRP type will be PD. Then here lot size will be different. It will be monthly lot size or weekly lot size. It will be a uh, periodic based uh, lot lot size procedure is there. Then for procurement, procurement key will be external procurement and availability check will be individual requirements. Okay. And the last one for external procure materials, which are consumables. So here they are using the uh, consumption based planning. So they are using the MRP type as VB and it will be a manual reorder point planning okay then um, for bill of material uh, they are using the single uh, single level bomb and whatever the design drawings engineering bomb uh, uh, th those will be mapped through the document management system and it will be attached to the production bomb so currently i am not aware of what is this dms concept is so whatever is present in scope i have written here okay then uh, Again, for scrap material, so whatever scrap is there, that will be added as a byproduct in the uh, bill of material. And in the uh, at the end, it will be managed through batch management. And uh, whatever uh, at, at the end of the production, it will get debited with the relevant cost. Whatever the uh, scrap will be there. Okay. Then routing. So there are various processes uh, identified in the manufacturing for Safami. So the processes are pre-fabrication -fa pre is there, fabrication, then welding, then pressure testing, sandblasting, machining, painting. So for all these processes, we can uh, create a routing. Okay, And while creating the routing, we also need to main uh, maintain the master inspection characteristics. So whatever in, in process inspection we will be doing through quality management for those, we need to maintain the maintain these master inspection characteristics, uh, whatever we need to, uh, uh, to do the quality tests over there. Then work center. So uh, like routing, we have several examples for work centers that will be used for Safami. Uh, uh, machining is there, plate cutting is there, pipe cutting, welding, sandblasting, and painting. So these uh, work centers will be configured in SAP. Okay, And for each work center, there will be a naming convention. So first four digit will be the plant code like 1046 and 2046. These are two plants we are using. So then uh, fifth digit will be a module. So uh, of which module that a machine will correspond to, that module code will be there. 
the sixth digit will be a category either it is a manpower or a machine then seventh and eighth digit will be a serial number also example is given below uh, the here the plant uses 1046 that is the cutting machine for safami copper okay next we have activity type so while configuring the work center uh, work centers only we need to uh, configure the activity types as well so these activity types will be used for uh, used to calculate the production cost for each process so uh, currently in this uh, safami we have two activity types uh, machine and labor so for each plant and company code uh, so those are mentioned and their example codes are also mentioned so activity unit will be uh, hours so that time activity will be uh, captured in the unit hour then planning so for planning uh, uh, they are using material requirement planning as well as consumption based planning so uh, for material requirement planning so uh, when it is a make to order so here a flow chart is mentioned okay <clears throat> so i will just uh, briefly explain this so whenever any new requirement they want to uh, uh, new requirement is there so uh, business will provide the uh, rough cut uh, rough cut drawing and whatever requirement is there to the safamis then the planning engineers they will uh, they will go through the, that rough, uh, rough cut plan and they will uh, uh, propose some quotation to the business so after uh, mutually agreeing on the price and all they will uh, the PO will be uh, provided by the business and after that we can start our work okay okay so after receiving the PO then the production department can start preparing the finished good materials and all uh, simultaneously a sales and distribution team can uh, create a sales order with the required quantity and on, on which date uh, the order should be fulfilled with those details they can create a sales order okay so then uh, next step we need to take a mrp run but uh, before taking the mrp run uh, bill of material and routing uh, corresponding to those uh, finished goods should be present in the system so that needs to be prepared and after that the mrp run will be done okay after the uh, after the mrp run <coughs> so bomb will get exploded and uh, planning proposals will be uh, generated so uh, plan plan orders will also uh, plan orders will get generated and if the uh, some uh, raw materials are not available for those the per, uh, purchase requisitions will be generated so uh, going forward those purchase requisitions will be converted to pos and the plan orders will be converted to production orders okay so uh, so next in the next step the production order will be released and once the uh so and goods issue will happen to those orders and uh, in the end stage the orders will get confirmed and at the end the finished goods will be uh, posted for quality inspections so this is the overall flow for mrp okay then uh, yeah here also the same flow is explained uh, that PR will be converted to PO goods receipt against PO goods issue. So whatever I have explained earlier, same is provided in this flow chart again. Then consumable plan planning. So uh, we have the third material type as consumables. So they are they are using the consumption based planning. So uh, okay, their planning will be happened based on the history of the consumption of those materials. So uh, they, they will define some reorder point for a uh, material. If the if stock reaches that level, then uh, we need to take our MRP run for those materials so that uh, the procurement uh, can be done for those. Okay. Also, they need to maintain some safety stock uh, for, uh, for the materials which are uh, planned based on the consumption based planning. So uh, the safety stock is maintained in emergency con uh, emergency situations and all okay. then uh, production order next is production order so here they are using two types of production orders uh, one is zsk1 and zsk2 so zsk1 order uh, is a production order for a project and zsk2 will be production order against the sales order okay so uh, in safami after the release of production order stores can able to issue the raw materials required for uh, the production order 
production department can be able to use all the materials to finish the production activity okay uh, all the unplanned materials required during the production execution can be requested uh, by creating the manual uh, reservation or by maintaining the required extra materials okay and also uh, the uh, operation confirmation so here they are not using the milestone confirmation they are uh, doing the confirmation operation wise yeah so till this i have completed the next pending thing will be uh, some of the for some of the operations they are uh, they, they are uh, doing some external operations uh, external operation process is there so uh, for that we need to create a uh, create a uh, create a purchase service purchase order mm team will create a service purchase order and assign it to particular vendor and uh, on that once we receive the materials they will do the goods receipt and we can proceed with the uh, production of uh, whatever the internal production materials are there we can proceed with that so yeah these may uh, much points i have covered today okay so and you received the scope of uh, uh, asphalt with me yes, yes today morning i received but uh, i didn't go through that yet okay crusher crusher also right so yes, those yes. two are two different entity yes so how the production process seems so that is also you can able to go through that yes and as i discussed like uh, there is a transport and uh, there is a heavy equipment these are all the two you know a, we can say different profits and other company could have planned so how these operations would uh, you, you hope you understand right the project level heavy equipment what is the role they are performing right so the project is requesting okay we need uh, you know let's say three uh, heavy equipments for next two or two months for its moving activities so in this case uh, you know the, they have there is a budget price for that so management level they have a take a call because internal so they are going to you know let's say they are requesting the material uh, you know i mean uh, requesting the you know purchase requisition to the heavy equipment and heavy equipment they are going to uh, you know uh, create the service order yes yes so they are the service one. order and uh, <clears throat> you know like a purchase sales concept has to be you know because there's a revenue has to book in the heavy equipment right so same uh, you know model for the asset like a transport also transport has a separate department and uh, they also have 1000 plus vehicles they are dealing and uh, you know when the project is requesting and they are also going to do the service so revenue has to book to the transport department okay so okay. this is also need to be addressed and uh, uh, you know uh, yeah, asphalt sales and uh, you know uh, crusher aggregate material sales so these are all the normal uh, scenario and uh, yeah so just uh, maybe in next session you just uh, take those points yes and uh, please go through the you know the scope document also hmm? okay yeah